Hi right, guys, uh, my wife's knit me fan, so I've got another fan and I don't know what it's going to be like sound wise. But we could try it, if you're hearing like a rushing sound, uh, well I'm going to test it anyway. But I'm going to try something new to like filter off the sound. So let's see how it goes, I'm just waiting for it to load up now. We're going to do a bit of spotter trucking. We're not going to be taking the, um, the car. We're just going to do a spot of missions, truck missions, I think. Just going to sort out the microphone because I'm just paranoid about it being near the... Uh, right, let's have a look. Frack tank, fracking tank. Massive tech park. Okay, what's that, 8,000? 42 hours. $8,000. Okay, let's do that one. <coughs> We've started in the Philippines. I think it's summertime now. It's getting warmer. Here we go. We've got a truck. Well, that's a big one, isn't it? This is going to be a big mofo. So I'm taking a lot of police uh, mess going with this. Hey, he run radio. Wide load, just like the ex girlfriend. Alright, oh, okay. Am I in any possible conflict with the uh, mess going with people? Alright, okay. Yes. Okie dokie. Are we like? Let's see. Okay, let's see how big this truck is. <gasps> Must be some weight in that. Alright, let's see. Is that a big... It is, isn't it? I don't care I'm driving over that. Have you seen the size of this thing? Oh, yep. What's the air like? Does it come and visit? No, just walk straight past. Oh, running past. My father used to have some horses near where he lives and he always used to come over to see you. Hello there. Ignoring me. Okay. Okie dokie, police officer. That's a boy. Oh, I don't like the camera. Oh, shiesty, that's a bit of a tight fit, isn't it? Try and not hit the police car. <gasps> Sorry, I can't help that. Move your police car out of the way, you knobhead.
Yeah, we're all right. It's a big box, isn't it? Whoa, I think that's a bit of a tie fit. Balls. <laughs> that was unavoidable, that. Oh, yeah, maybe. Can't be out. It's just too wide, isn't it? You should close off the day. You should close off the road for the day. Yeah, sorry, you're not getting through. Seriously, have I got a chance? You got no chance. Oh, all right. <laughs> Give me that. And then I could go, if I learn the actual, he had the right idea, why can't a truck do that? Truck drivers, dicks of the road sometimes. No offence to truck drivers. Shit, what's going on there? What happened there? Oh, not a good day, is it? I must have got out of bed the wrong way, like. The wife mustn't have packed me so packed me sandwiches correctly. Ching, 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 that's nice of them. I should have really stuck the hazards on all the way, to be honest. That's what you usually do with trucks, isn't it? You know, heavy loads like this, just put the hazards on. Can I ram him? <laughs> I ram I ram the other police car. Not that it was not it was a I couldn't avoid that. So I wasn't used to the width yet. I'm a bit rusty because I've not played this game for a little while.
It's a nice quiet ride with my big box thing at the back. Can see Nafa, look at that. It's like a big jack in the box, isn't it? I'm a, I'm a bit over to the left, I, I should actually. Yeah. Whoa, that's a tight fit, wasn't it? Since the first versions of this game, it's all pretty, it looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? It's all wireframing, it's not tiles or anything. Stay in the middle of the road. <laughs> Not arguing with that, am I? <gasps> hey! Shit. That's me. Oh, has it moved? No. That's me being in a wise ass. Oh, fuck off. Whatever that was. That's me being a wise because I was looking at it from a different camera angle. Oh, I don't want to hit that Range Rover. I ate him. <laughs> Try and play it normal now because I don't want to crash the car truck or damage the mer you know damage the massive big jack in the box. Yeah. Go on, go on. <laughs> I couldn't help but I hit the police car earlier on, but it was too close and I wasn't used to the width. I think I need a coffee shortly. I think last time I had a coffee was about three, four hours ago. It's starting to get warm over here in the Philippines. It's, it's been quite a hot day today, actually. I think I'm sort of learning the width of it now. Walmart. <laughs> okay. I've actually never been in a Walmart. We don't have them over here. I don't think we had them in the UK. Oh, there might have been one or two. Because <laughs> basically we've got um, our equivalent to Walmart <coughs> is SM, which is shoe. Somewhere or other, I can't remember what they're called now. 
a guy who made it rich in the Philippines um, renting out places to do his shoes and it ended up being a massive big oh organization he's one of the richest men in the Philippines Quite a few companies like that, though. You know, Schumacher, I think they're called. <coughs> there's Vista Malls and there's Schumacher SM. All over Mall of Asia and all that kind of stuff. In. And then you get like. I said the Mr. Vista Malls and you get um, most of the shops are in there. They're as big as Walmart I think for the Philippines. But yeah if you like live in the Philippines, well people in the Philippines know this, but if you live in the States or if you live in the UK, UK has two or three stars of Jollibee. Jollibee is like the equivalent of KFC, Kentucky Fried. And you well you let me know if you've ever tried it and if you ever get the chance. I think there's one in Liverpool, one in London. You you won't be disappointed. Absolutely god the ch the chicken's properly done, it's it's not as greasy as KFC. Because in the UK you've got um, SFC, you've got KFC, you've got Can Kansas Fried Chicken. You ever get into Manchester? I think there's a couple dotted all over the country. But Kansas Fried Chicken, oh I miss that place. I used to go up the, um, the Curry Mile they call it in the UK. People who live in Manchester you know exactly what I'm saying. And there's a brilliant place called Kansas Fried Chicken, and it it's mainly halal food, but it's, it looks amazing chicken. It's not too greasy. Do you know what I mean? Went to Salem, where the witch trials were. <laughs> oh, go on, go on. You get bored of McDonald's. I think you want something different. K Honestly, Jolly Bee. Try Jolly Bee if you ever get a chance. If you're not in the Philippines try Jollibee they actually is a Filipino restaurant it's Filipino food and they're actually dominating the Philippines at the moment most of the food outlets apart from McDonald's they probably don't buy Jollibee now Yeah, there's quite a few nice stalls over here, food stalls. There's a lot, I'll tell you what, there is a lot of in the Philippines. And they absolutely love it, the Filipinos. Is um, Starbucks. The place is always packed. Brewed coffees. Cappuccinos, American style foods, because it's mostly um, Americanized over here now. 
sell all of its burgers and pizzas and all that kind of stuff. You do get their own their own food, you know. You get the cine gangs and all that kind of stuff. Um, adobo. You ask a Filipino about adobo, they'll they'll love you for life. I tell you, they love the adobo. It's like a stew. It's a Filipino stew type of thing. I'd say yeah, yeah I, but it's made with soy soy sauce and vinegar. It's actually not bad. You think vinegar's uh, well, not very good, but it is. It's nice. Soy sauce. Lechon. Baboy and uh, manuk. Manuk's chicken. Baboy pork. You you need to, if you come come over here. You could you've got to try. Um, Lechon. It's like you know pork crackling, but it's so much better. Obviously, with fish and stuff like that as well. Fish, um, bad boy pork, basically man up chicken. Um, anything with rice base, the elite. They absolutely love rice over here. Not compared to the like the greasy chips and what we have in the UK, you know, potato fried. Not like the because the fries over here, they're not like chips. They're just basically like McDonald's. We ever get a chance to come to the Philippines? There's a lot of vloggers that come to the Philippines. They try holidays. They got the beautiful beaches on the planet, apparently. <laughs> you know, go to places like um, Bohol, um, Cebu, and all that kind of stuff. Places where the beaches are absolutely amazing. Just type it in on YouTube. Look at it. The like the, the like wonders of the world, basically. The place is amazing. And if people are, they always make you out. The, the Ameri um different countries always make out the Philippines to be a bad place. No, it isn't. Yeah, I'm in the lane. Don't worry. You get films where they make out the Filipinos to be. Nah, it's just propaganda that. No, they're nice. The, the Filipino people are the friendliest people you'll ever meet. I know, I married one. She's amazing. She has a moment, but like, done, done every wife. <laughs> she certainly sorted my head out. Because I, I, I had a lot of problems in my life. My wife just made it all disappear. Bouts of depression and all that kind of stuff. My wife came along. She listens. Tells me to grow up basically. And then that's what I did. She supports me. The only thing is, if you uh, if you cut yourself shaving and stuff like that, it's like <coughs> time to get the Vicks out, time to get this out, time to get that out. Panics like anything over a bit of blood. I'm having a mint. Got some mint ones. You have a place called Gaiatsu over here. It's like a Japanese star. Fatamite. I think we're due to be going. Um, on Thursday, we're on a Tuesday, Wednesday tomorrow. I've not took the car out. I took the car out. Oh, I took the car out on Monday yesterday. 
but um, the traffic over here where I live is absolutely horrendous. We live, we live in Tagatai, which is like near the volcano, and um, went to a place called Robinson's, and I didn't even know it had a car park. At, a basement one because we used to always just park at the front and I was just sat there the other week and I looked over and I thought it's got a basement we'll go in there for a second because obviously um, it gets hot elevator next to Andy man boom Ursa perfect I might do that actually. On my title, I'll call it Let, um, Let's Talk About the Philippines. I love the Philippines. The people are lovely. You go into different countries and they've always got an attitude. Or well, there's something wrong with them and they're not happy. The, Philippine, the Filipinos are always clearly presented, very friendly very chatty the only time they'll ignore you is if they don't really know the language because obviously their language isn't ours English is Tagalog Tagalog that's all right we get junction here isn't it I'm not looking forward to this bit Knife drive up here. Well, it's a bit of a tight corner, isn't it? Oh, nearly. <laughs> Not one over. Managed it. Straight ahead. I think usually they won't put the um, put all the lights on blue, won't the green? Because something like this wouldn't stop. I think we're coming to the end of it. I don't know what I've knocked down on the way. I've hit a couple of cars. I've hit a couple of police cars, so that's a bonus. That's a perfect type fit there, isn't it? Is it here? It's here, isn't it? Somewhere here. 
they're turning here by this house. I bet, I bet it's after the house, isn't it? It is. Good God. I need to get the angle right. Hey! That's impossible. You ass. There you go. Shit. <laughs> I thought I'd be an awkward one. I'm not very good at getting big things in little small places. Trailer damage. I couldn't help that, mate. You anus. There you go. That was a classical that was. Why did you add that big arch? I'm glad this job's over. What a nut eight that was. Well, I got an excellent for that though. What do you reckon? 34 minutes. Um, I want to add another car, but I've got to get some money sorted out yet. Can I actually add another car? Don't kill me, put diagnostics. Driver manager. I don't know. Oh, £27. Pounds. Go on, let's take another one. Veggies. I know a couple of vegetables in my time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs>
start being wide. Marking with that's a big mother, isn't it? Yeah! Yeah, the dog. Ah! Well, that's a dodgy rock. You go too fast, you fly off. Excuse me. I don't know whose dog it is. The thing is I worry because my wife, she teaches and she's upstairs and it's just irritating for you in the evening time that all you get is these dogs barking. Like I say, it's not fair for people. I'm not saying that I'm, we're not a lover of dogs, but when a neighbour says to you, well, that's what a dog is there to do, is bark. But it's not a case of barking. Not everyone is a lover of dogs. Why should we put up with your dogs when you want some peace and tranquility and you're trying to work and concentrate when you've got them little whapping thing, yakking things? <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like dogs, I'm just, it's a bit irritating when it's the owners what are the irritating ones and not the actual people that, um... oh that's time isn't it? What are you doing? Oh, piss off. Hey! Go away. Rules are meant to be broke, especially in games. You know, I don't care about that. You can't stop this thing once it's going, I don't care. They got cruise control? No. Honey, I really need to get a steering wheel for this game. I have to find out what it sounds like on this because I've got the game and I've got a, my wife's given me all, her old fan and I don't know whether or not it blows onto the microphone. Tell me on eight o'clock. Take the pill soon. Yeah, there's some nice places in the Philippines to go and visit. If you ever get a chance, honestly, pop on a plane, come to the Philippines. The people are absolutely amazing. They're not what... 
what they say in movies, ignore it, it's all propaganda, it's all rubbish. They're the loveliest people that you'll ever meet. If they ignore you, it's not that they didn't ignore you, if you try talking to them, if they just walk away, it's because they don't understand what you're talking about, or too shy. So bear that one in mind if you ever come over. Because mainly the main language over here is Tagalog, Tagalog, which is basically a split between English and the Filipino language, Tagalog basically. The Subwerno and um, Visaya and all them. I only know a little bit of Tagalog. Because my wife is Filipina. That's how you can tell because females, a Filipino is a male and a fe Filipina is a female. It's like certain things are learned over here. It's like Ate. Ate is like a, an ante. And uh, Kuya is like a, like a grand, um, like an, an older uncle or something. Then you've got like, a proper uncle and auntie, which are t um, Tito and Tito. Tito meaning me, basically. I'm, a, I'm an older uncle. And then my wife is a Tita to my, ne to my nephews and nieces. They always call hello Tita, hello Tito. Yeah. Oh and oh po oh oh po is like yes. Hindi is no. If they ever ask you, do you want to eat balut? Don't. <laughs> It's like a fetal duck. It's a boiled fetal duck. If you ever wonder what it is. I won't eat it. But apparently it's a delicatessen. They absolutely love the Koreans over here. Their idols are nothing like Americans. Their, their idols over here are Koreans. You will get them though, but mostly the, their idols are a Korean people. I think it's time to turn the lights on. What time are we on? Two hours, we've got 11 pm. It's quite bright for 11. Yeah, you ever come over? Lech on Manuk or Lech on Bad Boy, Bad Boy's Pork. I absolutely love it. It's like pork with crackling. But the, the way they cook it is amazing. And it just it's just so tender, it's unbelievable. They roast basically a full pig. And it's a delicatessen over here, they love it. And it's nice, it is nice. People are cringe at it, thinking, oh no, but it's not. They have certain road modes of transport, basically the cars, the trucks, and they get a jeepneys during the sixth, you know, during Vietnam they left a load of jeeps in the Philippines and the Filipinos reconditioned the vans to be um, transport vehicles like they're called buses that they're called jeepneys then you get a bike sidecar they're called trikes then obviously you get the bikes a lot of bikes over here you know motorbikes two-wheelers 
many a times I've been in a trike it's, it's quite um, if you're a big person you've got no chance but if you're a small person like a Filipino you're alright but I'm a big person quite tall as well um, yeah it's a bit of a tight fit <laughs> You need a car, you need a car in the Philippines. Not only just to get around, but to do whatever you're doing. Because you can't keep getting in a trike. We're going direct show forward. Going Canon Kaliwa. Yeah. Directions. I think Kaliwa is right. Um, Canon's left. I think. I forget now. Siggy's okay. Maganda can be. Is it Maganda? Mahal, Mahal. Mahal is love, but it's also expensive. So the night you can go up to a shop and say that's Mahal. Mahal is either expensive or um, love. <laughs> Mad that, isn't it? Two totties when you let wind fart <laughs> um, just try to figure out cats and dogs cats are pussats and dog is asshole ASO can you imagine saying that to people I've got an asshole you'd be like don't talk to me about my cat like my dog like that but it's nice. Yeah, a lot of street dogs over here. Yeah, I'm due for a coffee soon. I so wish my car had, I keep saying it on all my videos, my car, my own car, um, has, doesn't have cruise control, I so want it. I think maybe the next car we ever get, I'll get a cruise control. My father had in his, in his Audi, I think he was. We haven't, we got a Toyota. A new one. It's like an it's an SUV. It's um it's a toss it's a cross between uh, Corolla, the Corolla cross. It's a Corolla cross. It's an SUV Rav4 cross with an, uh, a Corolla. It's a nice car actually. We've just got the basic CVT 1.8. Love that car. It's on my video channel. Let's go in to get it.
not a cheap car, none of them. Most ex second most expensive thing you'll ever buy, isn't it? A car. You buy a car. It's not cheap. I think it was a little bit for the um, the hybrid model, but ours is not a hybrid. Ours is just basically continuous, continuous CBT, continuous valve transmission or something. I forget what it means. CVT, I think it's drive transmission or something. The way it runs in the engine, it runs continuously on the um, transmission, I think. bend we've entered Salt Lake City Get up there. So you dare change over by the time I turn. Is it straight ahead? It's straight ahead, isn't it? Just let it coast. Air brake. Come on. Is it? It's here, isn't it? We be here, we be found, our destination. There we go guys, right, we'll call it a day. I'm going to compile this video and get myself a coffee, a real coffee, not a play one. And I'm coming out of the game for a little bit, I'm having a break. What else have we got here now? Okay, okay. Long distance. Can't you actually? Yeah, okay. I don't know how that goes anyway. Right guys, um, I'm going to love you and leave you, take care, and I'll see you in the next one, have a good weekend, have a good whatever you're doing, and um, 
Be safe.